since we've entered the dry season in Nigeria and some African countries, a lot of farmers have been reaching out to me to complain that they've been noticing a white substance covering the openings of near snails just like the one in this video. That's why I'll be explaining the formation process, the causes, the effects and implication and also how to prevent and solve this situation on your farm in this video. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to stay notified once I release quality videos on the channel without wasting much of our time. Let's go! Alright, so the white substance you've been seeing is called the epiphram and this is a temporary structure which is created by many species of snails when they are estivating or in a very harsh condition to survive this period. What is estivation? Estivation is the state of dormancy that occurs in snails when the weather condition is harsh, either dry season or warm season. During this period, the giant African land snails form epiphram, sealing the aperture of the shell which serves as as water preservative strategies and also the white covering helps to prevent predators like ants and the likes from attacking the snails during this period of dormancy. So what you are observing on your farm is a very natural phenomenon because we are in the dry season in Nigeria and some African countries and even if you don't water your snails often, this will also happen. But what are the effects of estivation and the formation of epiphram on your snails? And in order to get this, I have to force some of the snails I have on the farm into estivation and this I simply did by collecting some snails and placing them in an environment where there is no water and the condition there is ash but not ash enough to kill the snails. In in order to force them into estivation. I placed the first set in an enclosed environment over a dry soil, that's all, and the second set were placed over the shelves. Obviously, I remember to cover that also so they won't escape. And you can see how healthy the snails are looking when I started the experiment. The initial weight of the snails were taken as that will be compared with the final weight of the snails after the experiment so we will be able to get the percentage weight difference in terms of the weight loss by the snails after the experiment and this is what the snail looks like after two days of the experiment it can be seen here that the epiphram is being formed already but it is not yet pronounced in the onset of estivation the snail passes all the feces within the body, those are the tiny little stuffs on the shelf, yes it is kind of gross, before it activates the estivation mode provided there is no water and there is no moisture in the environment is being kept. In this case you can see the surface of the snail being covered with the tiny layer of the epiphram and in the process of epiphram formation it takes a lot of weight from the snails because epiphram is formed by the combination of of mucus, calcium and phosphorus as the major components. So the amount of mucor that will be dehydrated and calcium that will be passed out to form the epiphram results in the snail losing a lot of weight. So this is a major effect of estivation on snails. Snails lose weight in this process and the more the snails are being estivated, the more weight they lose because they shed off the initial epiphram to form a new epiphram that will cover the level they had deep within the shell. Day 5 which is the final day of the experiment, it can be seen that the snails are falling deeply into estivation and are well covered with the epiphram and at this point they actually look like the pictures I've been getting from farmers within the country and outside of the country. And all that is left for me to do is to take the final weight, compare it to the initial weight I took to get the weight difference and at this point there is actually a significant difference in the weight of the ones I kept outside in the enclosed environment and the ones I kept on the shelf inside. The snails I kept outside lost more weight than the ones I kept inside. The ones outside lost 18% of their weight and the ones inside lost 13% of their weight. Which shows that the extent of dryness or let's say the amatan, the rate at which the amatan is in your area or the dry weather condition influences the rate at which the snails lose weight and estivate quickly. And at this point you can see the snails are well retracted inside the shell at day 5. Imagine you keep the snail in this state for the whole month of the dry season. All you realize is it will lose more weight and if the snail lose more weight beyond the carrying threshold, the snails will die. 
The second effect of estivation is that in this period the snails are not productive and are not sexually active and the effect of this can only be seen in a month or two after the estivation period when you are noticing you are not actually seeing any eggs in the pen or eggs being laid in the greenhouse system you are using. And that is the major reason most farmers complain bitterly in the dry season here in Nigeria and some African countries because it's very possible for a snail to activate estivation without showing the epiphram so the snail will just be sexually inactive you feel the snail is not covered with epiphram but the snails are estivating already they are not just forming the epiphram maybe because you are watering but the water you are giving them is not enough to break them out of the estivation phase they have while i'll be giving out the ways to solve and prevent this kind of situation on the farm please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel to promote the channel hit the bell icon to stay notified once i release quality videos on the channel so one of the ways of preventing this on your farm is to increase the frequency at which you water during the dry season for example in the greenhouse system where you only water during evening hours you have to water in the morning and in the evening hours during the dry season and in the pen system also you increase the frequency at which you water and also in the pen system make sure you mulch as much as possible which is using dry leaves to cover the soil in the pen so the snails won't be much hydrated and won't be exposed to the external weather where they will still feel it's the normal weather and they won't activate the activation mode in case you see the snails that are already estivated, all you have to do is break the epiphram, water the snails and return them to the pen, whereby optimizing the rate at which you water and also to maintain the optimum relative humidity on the farm so the snails will feel little or no impact of the weather change. Though this is mostly common in the greenhouse system where the snails are exposed to the outside and external weather condition all you have to do is increase the rate at which you water and once you notice the snails that are activated punch the epiphram break the epiphram water the snails return them to the greenhouse and watch them closely and make sure there are no ones that have estivated most importantly you have to pay attention to the corners and um, shady places in the free range system where water might not get to when you are watering so you have to pay special attention when you are watering to make sure water gets to every point in the greenhouse system by doing this you are assured that the snails won't estivate and also the snails will at least produce through the amatan period whereby you maintain at least a fairly constant flow of egg production all year round all right and before i go remember to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to stay notified once i release quality videos on the channel till next time a peace